Hey, what's up? This is Antonio Thompson coming to you from Brooklyn, New York. And do you often wonder why people aren't responding to you on Facebook? Well, stay tuned. In today's short video, I'm going to share with you three mistakes marketers are making on Facebook. Stay tuned. So you just got started in the industry. Congratulations. You know, most uh, home business owners and marketers get very excited when they get started with a company, right? They love their products. They love uh, the company. They love the culture. And I got to admit, you know, I was there too. You know, I was, uh, you know, someone who was very, very excited about the, the company that I got started with. And I was very excited. And when I got on Facebook, figured everyone, everybody should know about it, right? Everyone should, you know, be aware of it. And so I created a fan page and began to you know, share, you know, putting my my company's logo all over the place, you know, sharing, you know, the great uh, products and services that my company offers. And that was a big mistake. So mistake number one is branding your company versus branding you on Facebook, a big mistake. A lot of people are, you know, their profile picture is of their company logo or their cover photo is filled with, you know, products and before and after pictures of someone who, you know, had some had some 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 challenges in their life, whether it be weight loss or whatever. And then you see the change and transformation they've made uh, by using the product. And this is a, a big, big mistake, right? Um, no one really, to be quite honest um, and blunt, no one cares about your company on Facebook. No one cares about your company. No one cares about your lotion, your potion, your energy drinks. No one cares. Additionally, no one really goes to social media to buy. So what people are looking for is looking for, um, you know, to interact with people, to engage with people. And so if your profile is of your company, of your business, that's going to create a lot of resistance to you online and in the marketplace. So what you want to do is brand you. You want your profile picture uh, on your page. You want images of you living your life, living your lifestyle with your family, your your friends. If you're traveling, your pump, your um, your team together doing something exciting. You want it to be about you and not about your company. The second mistake people make is they think that you know, having a a large following or a uh, hundred thousand likes or follows on your your Facebook page um, means something. And it, it can, um, but mo mo most often people think the, the, the greater the number, the more results you're going to have. And I thought that too for, for a good amount of time when I first got started. I thought having lots of fans, lots of followers meant that all I do is put something in front of them and they would all buy. But the problem with that is they weren't the right people. So if you have a large following and they aren't the right people, the people that are interested in what you have to share, what you have to offer, then yeah, that, that number is just pointless, right? It's better to have um, you know a thousand fans who are actually interested in your product or service or are interested in your particular area, your niche, um, that will actually respond to you, that will engage with you on your page. If you have 100,000 followers and they have no interest whatsoever in losing weight, they have no interest whatsoever in um, you know financial services or uh, eating healthier, then you're not going to get much engagement on your fan page. So numbers don't matter. Uh, you want to make sure that you have highly targeted people on your fan page because you want them to engage with them. You want them to see you as a leader and as authority so that they, they connect with you, so that they you know want to work with you, so that they want to buy from you, right? And that's what you really want. You want highly engaged and highly targeted fans on your fan page. The last mistake people make is, and this is a big one, and I get this fairly often, like almost every day. Copy and paste messages, right? There's like this boilerplate, boilerplate template that you know folks on Facebook just copy and they paste it in a message and they send it to all their friends. No, no, don't do that. Uh, it, you, you lose that personal touch. It's very impersonal. It's very insincere, and it's just like you can tell someone copy and paste that message. It's just something like, "Hey, I like connecting with like-minded individuals. You seem like a like-minded individual. Here's a business opportunity. Check out this link." That kind of thing, right? Doesn't work. You want to be very, very, um, very real, very personal. You want to send a message to someone that you can tell that person can tell that you actually spent some time, not some time, but you actually thought about what you were going to say to that person, right? You want to make sure you look at their profile to see if there's something interesting to that you can connect with, so you have a reason to actually connect with them, right? So if someone, you know, lived in, let's say Brooklyn, and I thought they were very sharp, very, um, very, very professional, I might say something to them like, "Hey, John." You know, I noticed you live in Brooklyn. That's what's up. Me too. You know, what do you do in Brooklyn? Let's connect. Let's let's share some notes or whatever. I don't know. 
you want to have something to, to connect with so you can have a reason to write to someone. Copying and pasting some boilerplate um, message to your, your, your friends and family, and people you connect with on Facebook is just not effective. So don't do it. Or if you're doing it, stop doing it. So I hope you got some value out of the short video. And if you did, please like it, share it, and comment on it. And read the full blog post at Antonio R. Thompson forward slash blog one. And if you want to avoid, you know, more mistakes, not just on Facebook, but on Twitter, Instagram, you know, LinkedIn, all that stuff, definitely, you know, take your free, risk-free trial of Miley System Pro. Click the link at the end of this video. It's only $10, $10 risk-free trial. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, tell me, I'll give you money back. Uh, but definitely take your trial, you know, it's definitely a great platform and resource to help you build your business, get leads online, and have the kind of success that you want on the internet, right? So take care, click the link at the end of this video, get your free, your risk-free uh, trial, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.